another asteroid shock. Scientists are stunned in first-of-its-kind asteroid discovery. They've discovered a new type of asteroid which is unlike anything astronomers have ever discovered before. Sean Martin, Express UK reports, Asteroids are typically found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. It's, they are in a region known as the asteroid belt, where millions of space rocks travel, but astronomers have been left stunned to discover a space rock orbiting near to Venus, bringing the hunt for asteroids closer to the Sun. This strange space rock has been dubbed 220 AV2, having only been discovered this year even though only being a couple of weeks into 2020. Basically just two weeks. Astronomers have placed it in a new classification of asteroids called Vatiris, a mashup of Venus and Atiris, which are asteroids that orbit near to Earth. Russian amateur astronomer, again another amateur astronomer, you see how many things are being found by amateur astronomers? Just like the last interstellar comet by the by Yenadi Barisov that was found in uh, the beginning of August, so this uh, amateur Russian astronomer Filip Romanov photographed 220 AV2 on January 8th and told Space Weather, "Until 220, no known asteroids had orbits contained within that of Venus." On 4th of January 220. The Zwicky Transient Facility, ZTF, discovered this one, and I was able to photograph it only four days later using a remotely controlled telescope in New Mexico. Space Weather also said between Mars and Jupiter lies the asteroid belt, where millions of space rocks orbit the Sun. It's where the asteroids are supposed to be. And that's why why uh, newfound asteroid 220 AV2 is so strange. It circles the Sun entirely inside the orbit of Venus. There's already a small class of asteroids called Atiras, named after the first one confirmed in 2003, that have orbits entirely inside the Earth. Fewer than two dozen have been found. The discovery of 220 AV2 takes things a step closer to the Sun, while the chances of a major asteroid hitting the Earth are small, NASA believes there is a 1 in 300,000 chance every year that some kind of a celestial rock could cause regional damage and could impact Earth. The devastating prospect, of course, is not impossible. That's why there are now plans in the pipeline which could help Earth protect Earth from asteroids. NASA is right now studying asteroid Bennu, where the Osiris-Rex spacecraft arrived last year. Part of the reason NASA is sending Osiris-Rex is uh, to gather more information about the uh, asteroid, which is 1,640 feet in length. They have to get a sample of it. Unfortunately, uh, they found that uh, Bennu is very jagged and the spacecraft cannot land to grasp a piece of the uh, surface of the asteroid. I guess he'll be trying until he can do that, otherwise he'll have to give up. Now NASA fears that the asteroid Bennu, which has the potential to wipe out a country on Earth, could hit our planet within the next 120 years. The next close flyby will be in 2135. And NASA experts warn there is a 100% chance an asteroid will hit our world. Greg Leonard, Senior Research Specialist in Catalina Sky Survey, who is a NASA uh, scientist and uh, works with the NASA-funded project, supported by the Near Earth Object Observation Program, NEOO, told Brian Walsh for the latter's new book, End Times, I know the chances of me dying in an asteroid impact is less than dying from a lightning strike, but I also know that if we do nothing, Sooner or later, there is a 100% chance that one will get us, meaning that an asteroid strike will happen. So I feel privileged to be doing something. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.